Hello, it's Blind Wombat, and I'm here again, this time with a clip, and this one's going to be on Outpost, and it's going to be, as requested, a clip with a different weapon than typical assault rifle. This is going to be an M4A1 with a red dot sight, and there's going to be no silencer, so it will be drawing a lot of attention. I'm using a javelin on my secondary. I like launching the javelin right down here at the end of this alley, right off the bat, because all the time the sniper pops up right there, his head up over the edge of the uh, the box, and that's a great sniping spot. That'll kill him every time. That also injures people in the doorway, so I thought if there's anybody in the doorway, I would have hit him. The uh, sniper that always pops his head up there, he, uh, I got him real quick, but I did not notice the guy hiding in the dark there. He had assassin. He was doing a good job of waiting, biding his time, and uh, hopefully he'll get his comeuppance here, but... I see right now he just got gunned down and that guy got sniped. So I know there's a sniper. I jumped and dropped so that the sniper doesn't get me. And coincidentally, it turns into a drop shot on the guy who ran around the corner. So I'm going to push up here. And my tactic here is they're going to be spawning out in the open over there, is my belief. And I think they're going to rush the bunker since they know we're over here. And I know that guy just ran out there and got greased on my minimap. I see that guy's lying down in the corner over there. So I lie down myself right here. I think he's going to press forward. I think he's going to try and come around the corner and get me. But a lot of times, this turns into a waiting game. And I started waiting second. So I figure he's going to get up pretty soon. But judging by the amount of kills he's getting, and every kill they get waiting in their camping spot is going to encourage them to wait longer. Uh, he's probably not going to get up first. So this kind of just turns into waiting until his teammates feel comfortable enough to run past him into this spot. Because a lot of times, and it's all about having your gun up. If uh, if his teammate ran in, he would probably not have his gun up because he sees that this guy's got that door on lock. Okay, this bunker must be all right to run into. So he'll rush up with his gun not even up, and I'll be able to blow him away. And teammates that hang around corners, they know enemies to be around, really screw over their teammate, their other teammates quite often in that very very manner. They assume that the area is locked down. It's not locked down. I know this guy's over here. I know he's still camped up over there, but my teammates don't know that. That's why that teammate just got killed. So I rush around the corner, presumably while he's reloading, because the moment after a teammate of yours rushes out and gets killed, that's actually the safest time to rush out yourself and try and get the kill. Because you know they're going to be reloading. It's almost instinctive. Look at that. I reload every single time I'm done shooting. For half a second, I reload. I'm trying to get the long shot there. It's greedy, but I'm trying to go for it anyway. I'm using Scavenger Assassin and uh, uh, Dead Silence, I believe, in this class. That grenade almost takes me out. And it's a little bit of a different setup where I don't have Marksman set as my secondary, uh, as my second specialist slot. I've got Stalker set. Uh, you don't even need to use Marksman because I'm not going to be long shotting a lot of people. Or this is the thinking. I'm not going to be long shotting a lot of people because I don't have a silencer on my weapon. I'm going to be drawing a lot of attention myself. So I don't have to really go that hunting that far for people. Right there you'll notice I just I whiffed on shooting a bunch of headshots. And it's that damn stinger missile. The stupid stinger missile pops out over their head. And whenever things get mu like uh, muggy or I think I'm going to shoot second and I don't really think I'd win a straight up gunfight, I'll shoot for the head. And if I'm shooting for his head, I shoot, you know, the highest moving part of his body. Which unfortunately with people with stingers is not their head. It's actually the stinger. So it threw me off, and I whiffed by hitting his stinger a couple times. I'm going to shoot my javelin up into that very... That's a big hot spot on this map, going right into the bunker, especially because people like the head glitch right around that corner. That guy saw me. I knew he'd be coming. But uh, I'm able to... Thankfully, I'm able to put him down real quick, and that gives me my all perks. All perks is just like... It feels like cheating. It's the, it's the greatest thing in the world. Uh, my sniping videos are the only videos I've posted so far where I'm not using specialist, but I definitely will be putting up more videos on how I effectively use other kill streaks. I'm going to try and get as many of the tips and tricks as I have out there. Right now, uh, these walls are clearly permeable. I can shoot directly through them. I didn't utilize that that well on that guy, but the guy before him I shot a last stand shot him right through the wall. And you should definitely, a lot of people do this, they'll snipe, they'll get a hit marker, and then after they get their hit marker, they'll stop shooting at the guy because he tucks behind a wall. A lot of times that wall is sheer. Shoot right through the wall. If you predict they're going to be tucking around that corner or they're going to be direct, going directly to the corner and that wall on that corner is something you can shoot through, put another round there, dude. What is it to you? One bullet? Have you run out of bullets in your sniper lately? I doubt it, right? So go ahead. Take a shot. All right, so this is a cleared-out bunker. The bunker is one of the, the most vicious places to camp. 
And I came around the corner expecting somebody to be laying down there, really unfortunately for that guy, because I lay down there myself sometimes, and picked up the headshot. So I'm going to loop around here. I'm starting to get really uncomfortable, getting a little antsy, because I know that I've got opponents far to my left, far to my right. Nobody's going to be wrapping around towards me, and I don't have a sniper rifle until right now. And it happens to be variable scope soon. And I picked it up off the ground, and hopefully I can get this thing to to work for me. I know I just bashed. <laughs> I literally just bashed in my most recent video the uh, AS50 variable scope zoom, but I'm using it right now, and the drawbacks I, I said to it were that I didn't have extended mags, because that's what I prefer to use and bend on me and whatnot, but I have scavenger as part of my all perk, so it's definitely safe to pick this up. It's a great gun. Not only that, my javelin's empty. That's another thing I like about using the javelin. After you pop off the round, you can just swap it for any other gun. Uh, granted, using this sniper actually slowed me down, my movement speed, dramatically, but it's definitely an even trade for a powerful sniper rifle as a secondary. It's like having overkill, except for with every single other perk to go with it. Actually, as, as a matter of fact, I think I already have overkill through my all perks. I wonder if these kills count to, towards the 200 kills I need for getting overkill pro. I, I doubt it. I'm really fortunate that G RPG just took a random path and that didn't end up hitting me in my person because uh, that probably would have did me in even with uh, Blast Shield Pro. Be wrapping around, pressing their spawn a little bit, trying to pick up these greedy kills. I see him come through the alley. He bites it. I'm going to try and get into the bunker here and secure this victory with a sniper rifle since I have all this ammo for it. I mean, might as well not waste it, right? Alright, so let me think about anything else i got to add to the style I'm playing this video in. This is a very conservative style. You'll notice I never ran out Enemy onto the other half of the map. I stayed on this half where I spawned. Actually, I spawned on the other side, but after I got to this side, I never left. And that's because when the other team's going to rush this side continuously, or at least rush out into the middle, because nobody really does any fighting back in the spawn they're in, then there's no, there's no reason for me to leave this side, this bunker. I've got everything I need right here. People trying to kill me, a lot of sight lines, a big old sniper rifle. I'm happy where I'm at. I pick up a nice double kill right before this Moab ends the game. And I'm actually wondering whether there are only four people left. I think it only just Good kills job. four people if there are more than that because it ends the game. How That kind of sucks for the people that choose this though. <laughs> How rough would it be if you got chosen as one of the four? Well, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Well, thank you for watching, and the next video is going to be less commentary and more about me. Thumbs up if you liked it. See you, and have a good day.